Hey everyone, welcome back to another Java short video. In the previous part, we learned the difference between the shallow and deep copying in Java. Now let's explore two important techniques to implement these concepts. Copy constructor and clonable interface. A copy constructor is a special type of constructor that allows you to duplicate an object explicitly. It's commonly used for deep copies because it gives control over how fields including sub-objects are copied. For example, here is a copy constructor for person object which takes in the original object and creates a deep copy of it by copying the name and address. And notice how it creates a deep copy of the address object by creating a new address object. And that is the key step ensuring a deep copy making the new person object truly independent. Now in the main method, even if we change the address of the copy, it won't affect the original object demonstrating a successful deep copy. Another way to copy the objects in Java is to use clone method provided in the clonable interface. But using it has several challenges. And the biggest one is that the default implementation of the clone method in the object class performs a shallow copy. So, sub-objects are not duplicated. They are shared between the original and copied objects. For example, here we use the default implementation of the clone method which performs a shallow copy. So, if we copy the person object, using clone method and change the name of clone to Bob, it also modifies original's name to Bob as well. And to fix this, we can override the clone method and perform the deep copy. But depending on the object structure, writing this clone method can become very tedious. And as a result, it is time consuming as well as error prone process. For example, now in this clone method, we clone the person object and then we clone its sub objects mainly the address object to perform the deep copy. So to summarize, copy constructors provide an easy, explicit way to implement deep copying. Clonable offers built-in object duplication but defaults to shallow copying and requires additional effort for deep copying. Choose a technique based on your application's need. That's all for today. Hit like and follow for more Java tips.